Hey guys and welcome to a new Dungeon Defenders 2 video. I'm your host Mr. Peter and let's learn how to counter EMP Kobolds in Onslaught. EMP Kobolds are support flyers that dive into towers. Their job is to stun or disable the anti-air defenses, which in most cases are the Sky God Towers. Fun fact, they can stun a tower for about 20 seconds, plenty of time for the other flyers to attack the crystal and end the game. To counter this tactic, we need a tower to sacrifice itself to the EMP Kobold for the great of good. good. Sort of like a bait tower, as long as they target the bait tower, they won't target the sky guards. It's all for the great of good. good. I'm talking about the Mystic's Obelisk Tower. It's a very tanky tower and it costs 40 DU. For those of you who don't own the Mystic and desperately need a bait tower, don't worry. Another alternative is to use the Apprentice Frostbite Tower. It's not as tanky as the Obelisk, but it does the job in the end. It's willing to sacrifice itself for the greater good. Alright, let's check out the build. We have two builds that work for both towers. Refund, Protector Downgrade and Fortitude. And the other build is Fortitude, Protector Downgrade and Harden. The two most important mods to make this strategy work is Fortitude and Protector Downgrade. Fortitude provides extra defense health, can't say no to that. And Protector Downgrade is a bit more complex. Instead of your tower being destroyed, the defense will decrease one upgrade level at 95% health, once per combat phase. Basically, when I upgrade the bait tower to tier 2, Predictor Downgrade activates. When it does get destroyed by the EMP Coal Bulb, instead of it getting destroyed, it downgrades back to tier 1, and Predictor Downgrade deactivates. However, it only deactivates for that destroyed tower. For example, let's say you have 4 Frostbite Towers. If one Frostbite Tower gets destroyed, only that tower will lose Predictor Downgrade for that wave. For the rest of the towers, it will still have protected downgrade until they're destroyed. Remember, this can only happen once per combat phase. You'll have to replace it or re-upgrade it every build phase. For the last mod, you can have refund or harden. Refund drops a percentage of DU when a tower is destroyed, and harden makes your tower take less damage. For the shards, the obelisk has a variety of shards, whereas the frostbite tower, it doesn't really matter what shards you run on it. The tower is very fragile, it will get destroyed every wave. It's more important to have the mods than the shards. For the obelisk, the main shard to have is fortification. Ideally, we want the obelisk tower to be as tanky as a blockade, and fortification gives us extra defense health. Exactly what we need to make the tower more tankier. It's a campaign shard, but you can find it in Chaos 1. Shielding Guard, this gives the tower a bubble shield to withstand some damage from the EMP Kobolds. You can find this shard in Chaos 3. Explosive Shielding Guard, it's exactly the same as Shielding Guard but it explodes. You can find this Hive Shard in Mastery or by completing Prime 2. Obelisk Shield, this gives your hero a bubble shield that can help against assassins so that's pretty cool. You can find this shard in Chaos 7. Empowering Blasphemy, this provides hero stats to everyone in the game. However, you have to have the Mystic with full appeasement in order to make the shard work. You can find the shard in Chaos 3. Automation, each time your tower attacks, it heals itself for 2% of its max health. Fantastic on the Obelisk because the Obelisk has a global attack. It can attack anywhere from the map and slowly heal itself back to full health. This means you don't need to repair it. How convenient. You can find this Hyper Shard in Mastery or by completing Prime 5. That's the variety of shards that you can have for the obelisk. If you guys want to build example, for the obelisk you can run either build, but for the shards I would suggest fortification, shielding guard and automation. For the frostbite tower, I would highly, highly suggest the refund build as your tower can get easily destroyed. For the shards, it's not important, use whatever. For the strategy, choose whatever bait tower you want and put it away from your sky guards. Make sure your EMP cobwebs dive to this tower instead of the sky guards. If you want to use the obelisk as your bait tower, you can only put one down. When you try to build another one, the original obelisk will move. However, if you have different mystic heroes in your hero deck, you can place their obelisk down, meaning you can have multiple obelisks in the game. However, this does mean you have to make multiple medallions for each obelisk. It may sound long, but it's definitely worth it. If you want to use the frostbite tower as your bait tower, do not put it near lane enemies. Protector downgrade only happens once per wave, and we want to fully utilize it for the EMP Kobolds. I know this is a lot to take in, so everything is written in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer it. Now, let's demonstrate these towers. I'm here on floor 581, and we have two beautiful bait towers, Frostbite Tower and the Obelisk. I'm waiting here for the EMP Kobolds to attack the bait towers, so you guys can visually see the towers in action. 
As you can see, it didn't get destroyed because of Protector Downgrade. It was upgraded, now it's been downgraded, and Protector Downgrade is deactivated. We didn't get to see the Obelisk get hit, but that's okay. As you can see, it survived the attack, but most importantly, Sky Gods are alive. It just shows you that the Bait Tower has worked as intended. In the build phase, all you need to do is upgrade the bait towers to reactivate protector downgrade and you're good to go. That's it, it's really simple. Now you know the strategy, you'll never have problems with EMP cobalt ever again. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more D2 content. Good luck on your floors and I'll see you guys later. Take care.